Let me tell you something no one dares to say out loud. The smartest students in Asia are not always smarter than you. They're not born with super brains. They don't use magic, but they do use something dangerously effective that rewires the brain for brutal memory and razor-sharp focus. And the craziest part? Almost no one outside Asia talks about it. You're about to be brainwashed into using it, and after that, biology and chemistry will never feel like a struggle again. Let me ask you, have you ever read an entire page of your textbook and then realized you remember nothing? You try to memorize chemical equations, biological pathways, hormone cycles, or the Krebs cycle, but your brain says, no thanks, I'm out. That's because you're using a Western-style learning system built on cramming, passive reading and highlighting, which does nothing to rewire your neurons for retention. But here's what Asian top students do differently, and it's almost ruthless in its simplicity. They never study information, they attack it. The core of the Asian study secret, brain overload method. This method isn't about reading more, it's about saturating your brain with high pressure input again and again until your mind gives up fighting and starts absorbing everything automatically. It sounds intense because it is. Think of your brain like a wild animal. If you gently whisper biology facts to it, it ignores you. But if you shout, hammer, and surround it with biology from all sides, audio, visuals, writing, recall drills, and spaced mental explosions, it surrenders. That's the Asian overload model. And it's why their memory retention seems almost robotic. Why this works, biologically. Let's go scientific for 30 seconds. Your brain forms long-term memories through a process called synaptic potentiation. What strengthens these synapses? Stress, repetition, emotion, active recall. Asian top students unknowingly hit all these triggers at once. Stress, by time-boxing their study into micro-deadlines. Repetition, through wave-reviewing the same content three, five times daily. Emotion, by creating mental pressure and urgency. Active recall, by forcing themselves to reproduce everything from scratch. In other words, they're not studying, they're forcing memory through neuropressure. You're not just going to read and hope, you're going to hijack your brain's fear and survival systems and turn it into your biology-chewing, chemistry-digesting servant. You're about to get brainwashed, on purpose. This video will rewire your brain, not with some motivational junk, but with tactical steps stolen from elite Asian learners who dominate exams with 10-hour study sessions and total topic recall under pressure. No, it's not always comfortable. Yes, it works terrifyingly well. Forget flashcards and watching videos passively. This is full brain immersion warfare. Here's what's coming. In the next few minutes, you'll discover how to cut your study time in half using the mental layering technique, the zero rereading rule that Asian students swear by, a weird trick to turn your notes into memory vaults with just five words per page, why your brain resists chemistry and how to hack your dopamine to enjoy it. And finally, how to make your study room a mental torture chamber in the best way possible. By the end of this video, if you follow what I show you, you won't just study biology and chemistry, you'll dominate them permanently. Let's begin. Section one, the layer bomb technique. Step one, never study a topic once, ever. That's what average minds do. Asian high achievers don't approach biology and chemistry like a checklist. They study in layers, like painting a wall over and over until the color becomes unmissable. Here's how it works. 1. Layer 1. Light speed overview. 5 to 10 minutes. Skim the entire chapter fast. Don't take notes. Don't try to memorize. Just scan for shape, like looking at a map before a journey. This creates a mental skeleton for what's coming. 2. Layer 2. Breakdown and chunking. 20 to 30 minutes. Now go section by section. Divide into chunks of 5 to 7 lines max. After reading each chunk, ask yourself, what was the core idea here? 
Can I say it out loud in my own words without looking? This is active decoding, not passive reading. 3. Layer 3. Squeeze and recall. 15 minutes. Close the book. Write what you remember. Not everything. Just the backbone ideas. No checking allowed yet. This frustration gap activates memory retention like crazy. 4. Layer 4. Fast re-entry. 5 to 10 minutes. Reread only what you forgot. You're now filling cracks in memory. This is how Asian students cement facts permanently. Repeat this cycle every 48 hours. This isn't revision, it's neural reinforcement. Section 2. The invisible teacher trick. If you can't teach it, you don't know it. Here's something no one tells you. Top Asian students don't study alone mentally. They study like they're being watched. This is called imaginary teaching. You do this. Stand up or sit straight. Pretend someone is in front of you. A class, your sibling, your past self. Explain the concept as if you're teaching them. When you get stuck, mark that spot and return immediately. Your brain fires deeper processing when you feel social pressure, even if it's fake. This one hack alone tripled recall rates in a 2019 Osaka Cognitive Lab study. Section 3. The five-word note rule. Step 3. Notes are not a summary. Notes are a weapon. Asian students don't make aesthetic notes. They make trigger bombs. You should make notes like this. Write down only five words per paragraph. Use arrows, symbols, and abbreviations. The goal isn't clarity, it's brain activation. Example, instead of writing, photosynthesis involves the conversion of carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen using sunlight. Write, CO2 plus H2O glucose, light. Now, every time you see that line again, your brain is forced to rebuild the full meaning, that rebuilding memory strengthening. Section 4. 90-20 study cycles. Step 4. The brain doesn't remember what you study. It remembers what you recover. Forget two-hour grind sessions. Asian elite students follow this brain rhythm trick. 90 minutes deep study, followed by 20 minutes dirty recall. What's dirty recall? It's brutal. Take a blank paper. Write down everything you just learned. No books, no peeking, no fear. Circle what you forgot. Don't get emotional. Then re-attack only the weak spots. This is mental hypertrophy. You're building memory muscle through force and recovery, like the gym. Section 5. Environmental control. Step 5. Your room is either your lab or your trap. Top Asian students don't leave their study environment to chance. They engineer it. Here's what they do. Remove all unrelated books or objects. No distractions. Even a novel is dangerous. Single screen rule. If you use a tablet, laptop, everything else must be off. Trigger music. Play the same instrumental track for one subject only. For example, use one track for biology only. Your brain starts associating sound with subject. Your room must scream. You are here to dominate biology and chemistry, not vibe. Without pressure, your brain forgets. Fast. Asian learners often use emotional urgency tricks like writing mock exam dates earlier than real ones, competing with their own past scores, leaving post-it notes with failure reminders. If you forget this, you lose again. Studying with a timer to simulate the rush of real exams. It may sound harsh, but when the brain feels like something is at stake, it stops forgetting. This is not about this is not about stress. It's about controlled pressure. Now you know the truth. The reason you struggled with biology and chemistry was never because you were dumb. It's because no one showed you how your brain actually learns. You weren't lazy. You were misled. But now you've been rewired. You've been exposed to the same system students in Tokyo, Seoul, and Delhi use to crush competitive exams. They don't just study, they condition their brains like athletes. They train focus like a weapon. They memorize with precision under pressure. And now, so can you. Before you leave this video, I want you to do just one thing. Drop a comment below with one subject or topic you always struggled with. Maybe it's the human eye, organic chemistry, hormonal control, or periodic trends. 
Let's expose it, name it publicly, own it, and then watch how fast your brain turns that weakness into your deadliest strength. Because after this video, you're not just another student, you're becoming dangerously focused. See you at the top.